I'm Lisa Melindy, and I had the distinct pleasure of working with Stone Soup Leadership Institute with my environmental science class this past semester. As we organized a beta program at my school for my class, we decided to do it a bit differently than they normally do. I was the one to implement the education instead of someone from their organization. I worked on the lessons, I taught the students, and worked very closely with Marianne and Trevor in the interim to make sure that we were choosing the right materials and the right stories to highlight. And it was a wonderful thing to notice and to witness my students diving into this work and really getting to know the topics and requesting to learn more about specific things. My students were really interested in the stories that they read. Uh, they were really struck by all the possibilities of possible work and career that's out there in the world. The amount of money that they could make was pretty impressive to them. Some were struck by how little extra education past high school they actually needed. Uh, many were feeling intimidated by going to a four-year school and to know that they only really maybe needed one year at a certificate program was a lot more attainable to them and they were actually able to re configure their thoughts about college. They just needed a little creativity and some innovative, innovative teaching strategies to think about the careers that they talked about and to be able to see themselves actually doing these careers and being successful at them. A lot of the students were really inspired to dream bigger, go a little higher and do something really great for their world. One of their favorite stories, a couple of them, was Autumn Peltier's stories, mostly because of her age and how young she was when she really stood up to her government and made her thoughts and her opinions known. They were really interested in the fact that she really is their age right now, very close, and is very well known in the field that she's working in, and really well known in Canada and doing pretty major things with the government um, and for her tribe they really made them think about what they could potentially be doing now. They were also very curious about how um, Francois was able to take ocean plastic, plastic floating in the ocean, and take it out of the ocean. He organized a big company that could take ocean plastic out of the ocean and make it into usable products that people need every day, of like watches or sunglasses or eyeglasses of some kind. Um, it was a very simple and elegant solution, which was very similar to my favorite story, Gary White and Matt Damon's story from water.org about how they applied a pretty well-known concept in microfinance to a, in a, to a new, in a new way to communities that don't have regular and reliable access to water and how they were able to get them that regular and reliable access to water. They just needed the connection. Um, and, and they've really changed the lives of many, many people around the world in developing nations. I learned so much as a teacher. I learned a lot about the sustainability world and what's out there more than I knew before. And also how little there currently is in the place where we live right now. I'm really excited to be a part of the professional community that's growing and voicing the need for more sustainability career options, especially in our area, for young students who are emerging into the world, trying to make a name and find a place for themselves. I really hope that we can encourage them and inspire them and nurture their desire to do great things in the world. I really don't want them to lose their drive. I want them to continue growing and learning, and I want them to strive for everything they possibly can. I'm really excited to help make this place a little bit better than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm.